are listening to the Art of Homeschooling podcast, where we help parents cultivate creativity and connection at home. I'm your host, Jean Miller, and here on this podcast, you'll find stories and inspiration to bring you the confidence you need to make homeschooling work for your family. Let's begin. Well, hey there, my friend, and welcome. This week, I'm bringing you an episode from the archives here at the Art of Homeschooling podcast called Welcome Winter with the Window Star Challenge. So listen in and then join in for our annual Window Star Challenge. In this episode, I share the story of the first window star I ever made and how it represents my intentions for homeschooling. If you've never seen one of these window stars, they're folded paper stars that you can hang in the window and they let the light shine through in just a beautiful, magical way. Go have a listen to the episode uh, and hear my story about my first window star. And then I invite you to join in for the challenge by making your own window star and sharing it on social media with the hashtag window star challenge. Also, be sure to tag me on Instagram at art.of.homeschooling. I can't wait to see what you create, and I want to celebrate your light in this world. Check out the show notes for this episode uh, for more details, and you can find them at artofhomeschooling.com slash episode 61. And now from the archives, here is how to make a beautiful window star, Welk and welcome winter with the window star challenge. Have you ever seen one of those magical folded paper window stars? Have you ever made one? If you have, you know just how beautiful they are. And if not, I'm going to inspire you today to make one yourself. And even if you have, stick with me because I have a fun challenge invitation for you to help you welcome winter. Hey there, Uh, first I wanna tell you a little story about uh, my window star, the star that became the logo on my website, Art of Homeschooling. One winter, I made a folded paper star with eight points while sitting at our dining room table. It's the same table where we eat, homeschool, and gather for holidays. I hung the star in one of the windows in the dining room. I just taped it up on the glass, and that golden star stayed there for months. I took a photograph of the star because it reminded me of why I chose to homeschool, to make make beautiful things with our hands, Uh, to gather together around the family table, to learn to shine, really, for each of us to learn to shine brighter. And then that photograph turned into my logo. And one of the serendipitous things that came out of this is that now I, I talk about those eight points on my star as representing the eight lively arts Um, that we can bring to our children to help enliven the lessons and the learning. Those lively arts include storytelling, movement, music, speech, drama, painting, drawing, and modeling. I made my star with the intention of it being uh, the guiding light on my journey through homeschooling. And just looking at it uh, grounds me in my resolve to bring more beauty into our home. And now um, it's it's inspiring me to share my, my encouragement and experience with you and with other homeschooling parents. What amazes me most about this little golden star is that every time I look at it, a big smile comes across my face. I still hang it up every winter to help bring more sparkle and light into our home, even though all three kids are grown and off on their own. 
But really, these window stars can can brighten your home any time of year. Uh, they're especially wonderful here in northeastern Ohio when the days shorten as it gets darker earlier and earlier, the landscape turns more gray, more frozen. Days like today, actually the day I'm recording this, we woke up to eight inches of snow, our first snowfall of the season. Window stars are a wonderful way to bring warmth and color back into our lives. You can find instructions for making your own window star over on the show notes for this episode at artofhomeschooling.com slash episode nine. But let me first, before you head over there, give you a few more tips about setting an intention while you make one of these stars. So I think part of the magic about these stars is that when the light shines through and when the, during the daylight hours, the, the light shining through the paper gives this almost stained glass effect. It's so beautiful. And the very best paper for making these is called kite paper. Kite, K-I-T-E. And it's like a colored waxed paper, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Uh, you can also make these with tissue paper, although that's a little bit trickier because the tissue paper is thinner and it tears more easily. That can be frustrating um, for you or for your kids. Uh, but either way, uh, window stars are a really beautiful way to capture the light and, and to... Um, enjoy what, seeing the light shine through them. There's this sense of guiding light right inside that beauty, I think. A light that really calls on us, on each of us, to celebrate imagination, creativity, making things with our hands, and, and the important work of parenting and homeschooling our children. I also find making window stars to be incredibly meditative. Uh, I created my golden star by taking eight squares of paper, this golden yellow kite paper, and folding each square in a particular pattern. And then those become the eight points. Folding the first one can often take the longest, especially when you're new to this. Um, as you learn a new pattern, but once you get the hang of it, it, things speed up, right? You start creating these beautiful pieces with more ease. So today, I'm inviting you to make one of these stars and make one just for you. It's like meditative inner work that's also really fun and something you'll be so proud of once you're done, not to mention it being a nice addition to your homeschooling space. Children love making these too, uh, so you could do this activity together if you want. But I want to talk about you and making your star. So your beautiful star can hang in your window as a reminder of your reasons for choosing to homeschool. These reasons might include helping your children discover their gifts as they get older um, so that they can begin to go out into the world and share those gifts. Or perhaps you want to bring learning alive more through, make it more hands-on um, and bring more creative activities that inspire joy. Maybe you even want to tap into your own creativity too while you are on this homeschooling journey. All of these reasons really, I think, have at their core our deep desire as human beings to shine forth, right? To bring a little more light, a little more beauty, a little more of our unique selves into the world, to be seen, to be, to be brighter stars. <laughs> so welcome to the Window Star Challenge. <laughs> This is an artistic activity with an intention behind it just for you, for the homeschooling as a homeschooling mom or dad. And uh, I'm going to give you uh, a specific intention that you can use in just a second. Uh, I think as homeschoolers, we, we have so many ideas, right? Um, but if you're anything like me, you don't always follow through on these, on every idea that you have, uh, especially when it comes to nurturing yourself, 
ask me how I know. <laughs> um, I homeschooled for over 25 years. And even though my kids are now grown, I still, um, I still need to consciously and intentionally make the space for myself, for nurturing myself, and make a decision to surround myself with beautiful hands-on activities, because these activities bring, still continue to bring me joy, just like they always have brought more joy into our home. So this project is simple, but beautiful, something you can make for yourself. Here's my challenge. Create your star and then share it. <laughs> it's as simple as that, just two steps. And as you craft your window star, I offer you this intention to write down or recite uh, as you fold each point of your star. And here's the intention. May this star be a symbol of my intention to homeschool my children with love. May our work together invite beauty, joy, creativity, and connection into our home. And may we honor each other's individual gifts. So that is my intention that I invite you to hold while you're making your window star. And the beautiful thing is that once it's finished, you can hang it in the window where sunlight will shine through it. And every time you look at it, you'll be reminded of your core reasons to homeschool your children. You can find written instructions and a supplies list, as well as a video that walks you through making your very own window star. You can either follow along with the written instructions or step by step by watching the video as I show you how. And all of this you will find over on the show notes for this episode at artofhomeschooling.com slash episode nine. After you finish your window star, snap a photo of it and post it on social media with the hashtag window star challenge. And that way we'll be able to see each other's stars. I look forward to watching our window star collection grow so that we can each celebrate each other's individual gifts and uniqueness. <laughs> and so that we can all celebrate each other's light. With this challenge, I really wanted to find a way for us to come together as a homeschooling community. Um, in, even though it's virtual, I think by sharing our stars, we can each support, we can support each other in this important work of homeschooling our children. Even if you've made a window star before, I encourage you to do this activity with the intentions mentioned here uh, and write down this intention that I've given you for yourself uh, and include that I, the ideas of creating uh, a symbol of beauty, creativity, and connection that draws us forward on this homeschooling, on this holistic homeschooling path. May we journey on together. I'm wishing you much warmth and light as you welcome winter and uh, or or if it's summer, you can be celebrating that that time of year as well. So wishing you much warmth and light from my home to yours. That's all for today, my friend. But here's what I want you to remember. Rather than perfection, let's focus on connection. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Art of Homeschooling podcast. Mm -hmm.